Okay, hi, YouTube watchers. This is Rick on abandoned places and strange areas in eastern Pennsylvania. We are now in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania at 240 Union Station in Bethlehem. And this is the former, um, the former passenger rail station for um, Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. It was built by Lehigh Valley Railroad and Reading Railroad and you see Reading Railroad is on the Monopoly board, the same company. It was built in 1851 and closed in 1979 and is now um, operated by St. Luke's, a local hospital here in Bethlehem. And we will take a look around. It's all modernized because the hospitals have, of course, a lot of money and they revitalize this entire passenger rail station, which I think is great. Otherwise, it'd still be abandoned and probably would have been torn down. But St. Luke's revitalized it and turned it into, um, I guess, corporate offices, uh, maybe doctor's offices, you see right here, and other things across the street and show you Lear Valley Railroad's headquarters, you got to remember, we are right next to the Bethlehem Steel, um, the former Bethlehem Steel. And um, I'll show you the, uh, the furnace areas later. But to get the steel products, um, they had, they used the railroad to bring that, to bring all the, all the steel in. So here is the Bethlehem now this is the passenger station. No freight or steel or anything came out or came in here. This is just for people. Okay. Again, if we look over here to the left, we see that's the hill to hill bridge. Of course, built with Bethlehem steel. So are most of the skyscrapers in New York City and the San Francisco's Golden Gate Bridge was built with Bethlehem steel, which is located about 500 yards from where I'm standing now. The headquarters, though, of the Lehigh Valley Railroad are right beyond the Hill to Hill Bridge. If you can see up there, that is the, uh, if you can see the sign, it says Lehigh Valley Railroad. That was their headquarters, or in Bethlehem, because in the Lehigh Valley, Bethlehem is like the geographic center. It's between Allentown and Easton, and Allentown, East and Bethlehem make Allentown, East and Bethlehem make up most of the Lehigh Valley, population-wise. Again, here is a the bridge, the Hill to Hill Bridge, and the other side of the rails of the passenger station. Bethlehem Passenger Station. Again, another victim of using of the automobile, basically, the interstate system and the automobile. Again, this, this passenger station is located only 500 yards from the second largest steel processing uh, plant in the world, the Bethlehem Steel. All right, that's it for now. Thank you. This is the actual uh, tracks. They still use this. Um, and right now, a freight train is going to be passing us momentarily. I think you can see the headlight right now. Here it comes. This is the Norfolk and Southern Railroad, which took over, if you saw the last video, it took over Consolidated Railroad or Conrail. This is the Norfolk and Southern Railroad. They deal with freight only. But at one time, the tracks this train is on um, used to have trains that uh, had passengers and dropped off and picked up at the station at the Union Station in Bethlehem I just told you about. So he's going under the Hill to Hill Bridge, probably going out west, Harrisburg, Pittsburgh, Youngstown, Ohio. Um, areas like that. 
This is the kind of tracks the steel would be going on to go out to Pittsburgh and Chicago and points west. Hey, I got real running train footage here. That guy you saw in the picture is Bruce. He's helping me out with these videos. It's another cold, windy day in Bethlehem. It's about 33 degrees. Snow showers here and there. J.B. Hunt, which is actually, those are the trailers for the J.B. Hunt Company, which is a tractor trailer freight company. All right, this is all J.B. Hunt stuff. Is there anything at the end there? Is this it? Does it keep going like this? I'll keep this on. We're going to keep going here. I think this Norfolk Southern has a big contract with J.B. Hunt. So you see how the um, freight railroad business is working together with the trucking business. Right here is uh, the perfect mishmash, our, our um, intersection of those two industries. All right, thank you. My name is Rick. I have a channel called Abandoned Places and Oddities in Eastern Pennsylvania. Catch you later.